to head out um, on the trail and this is my current situation. <laughs> I used to be so organized. Not so much anymore. Alright, so it's about one o'clock. Um, I have been on the road for 30 minutes. I am driving to Idlewild where I am meeting Jenny, who is my TRT um, hiking partner. Uh, we're going to be camping overnight at the Idlewild Regional Park um, and getting an early start at the Deer Springs Trailhead. Um, we are just sort of doing a shakedown hike to, you know, get in gear and get prepped and ready and everything um, for the TRT. It's been a few years since uh, Jenny and I have hiked together. Uh, in fact, the last time we hiked together was Mount Wilson, where I almost fell off the side of a mountain. So that's fun. <laughs> and I didn't do much hiking after that because I had uh, some pretty bad trauma to my left leg uh, that needed to heal. It took about a year to heal. Um, so uh, I'm really looking forward to this um, this hike. Uh, we're going to do Deer Springs to Little Round Valley um, Campground. And if we're feeling up to it, we'll continue on to the San Jacinto Summit. Uh, we're looking at coming back down the way that we came, or we might go um, the loop, depending on how we're feeling, um, via Wellman's Divide and uh, come back around um, where it meets back up with the Deer Springs Trail um, and back down to our cars. So um, yeah, I, again, I've been, I've been in the car for 30 minutes. So I will probably be in the car for another three or, or four hours. It's Friday and uh, LA traffic, you know how that goes. Um, not fun. So yeah. So when you're backpacking, or hiking or whatever um, they always tell you to have a plan B or you know uh, go with the flow things like that we're not hiking um, the trail that we thought we were going to hike um, I arrived at the ranger station um, which has been closed since March of 2020 it is now may of 2021 um they reopened yesterday so um i wasn't sure how i was going to get an overnight permit um because uh, when i called the ranger station um leading up to this hike uh it just rang and 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 rang nobody picked up so i didn't know how i was going to go about that i figured at the very least i would fill out the permit for the day hike um but to my surprise, when I pulled into the parking lot here in Idlewild, there was a ranger standing outside. And when I walked inside, there was um, also one in there. And they told me that the office was open. And um, I was really happy to hear that. Um, apparently, everyone else was, too, because the permits for Little Round Valley were sold out for tomorrow night. However, Round Valley, which also has a reliable water source running through the campground, did have permits. So it kind of works out. I don't have to carry as much water. I don't have to worry about running out of water. Um, and I got uh, an overnight permit for myself and Jenny. Uh, so now we'll be doing the Devil's Slide um, trail up to Round Valley um, and then coming down Wellman's Divide um, and back. Um, also, apparently parking is better. So, I mean, it just, you know, it was the universe looking out for us, um, convinced of it. Um, yeah. So, you know, sometimes plan B ends up working out better than your plan A. Uh, so don't get down if you ever have to change up your plans. Just kind of go with the flow and have fun. Okay, I don't know how far we are. Uh, like a mile and a half? Mile? A uh, mile and a half. Mile and a half. Um, and I'm dying because I'm out of shape. So um, lesson learned. Um, I need more than a night to acclimate to high altitude. So not going to go arrive to Tahoe on the 2nd gonna arrive to Tahoe on maybe the first instead um, 
and I need to start doing the treadmill on an incline because my butt is on fire. Um, but good news, we're only five miles, I think, from, we only have five miles left and it's seven o'clock or something like that. Um, and this trail is absolutely gorgeous. The views of the valley are beautiful and um, I think it's gonna be a, a nice time up at the, the campground. <laughs> First mile, um, I slipped sitting down. That happened. Um, <clears throat> and in doing so, I pulled my butt on the right side. And um, so I'm in a lot of pain. Um, I tried stretching that muscle and I could barely stretch it, which it's a stretch that I can usually do pretty deep and I could, I could barely do it. So, uh, Jenny is trekking on ahead. She is going to try to summit San Jacinto and I'm just going to meet her at the campground. So that's where we're at. I've got about, uh, two and a half ish more miles of uphill and then it's downhill to the campground so I'm looking forward to that but also this view so <clears throat> normally at this time of the year up here you would need to carry micro spikes with you because there would still be places on trail where you would need them but in a low snow season like we've had this year in 2021 that was about all you got this is the first little patch of snow i've seen and uh it just came over over this this ridge here um right now i'm on the pct um and i don't know in about another mile or so um there's a junction and the PCT veers to the left and I will continue going straight on up to the saddle. Um, and then, I mean, I'm going downhill right now, but it's going to be short lived, but then I'll have a large downhill into Round Valley. There's another little patch of snow. just came to, to spring this spring um, and it's on guy hooks um, it is flowing really nicely it's actually the second spot there was a another spot right over there um, but this one's actually flowing really really well it's a great spot to cool off or to um, refill your water before you start this last uphill trek to 
the San Jacinto Summit Junction. You guys, I'm very excited and very happy because I made it to Walmart's Divide and now I get to eat lunch. So, yay for that. And I only have one mile left and it's all downhill. So, I'm so excited. I'm so happy I could like cry right now. Not really, but um, yeah, there's a sign. This is like a big trail junction. Summit is that way going that way. Whew. And that's where I came from. Alright, so the plan was I was going to stop at Walmart's Divide and have lunch. Um, but I'm only a mile from the campground and um, it's all downhill so I mean I should be there in like, I don't know. 15 20 minutes maybe 30 tops if uh if my knees start to bother me um but there was a group of uh, day hikers at the divide who were just being really rowdy and um i don't know just uh didn't fit in with the experience that i want right now so um, i'm opting to continue um, down the trail to Round Valley where I can hopefully get a little more peace and quiet while I enjoy my lunch. A little bit of snow. I had to walk through it. I mean, I could have gone over here, but... I'm not going to have any real opportunities to hike through the snow, so uh, there it was. Alright, so... Uh, I made it to the campground. It was fucking confusing. Um, the little dot on the map is not actually where the campground is. You have to like hike up into the hill and don't listen to all trails because it'll take you through fucking marsh. Um, and that was the map that I had downloaded <coughs> onto my Garmin. So that's fun. Um, yeah, I like that. I like that term. Um, Jenny went to Summit. This campground is really, 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 really fucking confusing if you're meeting somebody because there's little, little campgrounds all over the place. And I'm at the furthest one away, but it's the closest to the trail junction, but I don't think she's going to be able to see me here. So I'm actually going to eat my lunch. Added some Cholula to it. Um, <coughs> I'm going to eat my lunch and then um, I'm going to go try to get a spot closer to the... Um, spigot and the trail because I think that's the way that she's going to go down. Um, so hopefully, hopefully that works out. Oh, this trip. All right. So I finally, <coughs> I finally set up a camp, uh, here in Round Valley. I am at one of the campsites in R9. Um, there's a couple other ones over that way. Um, I don't know if you can't really see it, but there's an outhouse down there. Um, but I'm at like the upper mistletoe or something like that. Um, yeah. So the last time I saw Jenny was around noon. Um, and she was going to make a try for the summit. Um, it is currently three o'clock. Um, I would imagine that she would um, be rolling in in the next hour. Um, however, the campgrounds here are just like super fucking confusing and I don't know if she's going to find me because I'm, I'm like hidden behind some rocks and 
way, it's like way off of the trail. Um, Round Valley is huge. Um, and the rangers did not give us any indication of how it was set up. And considering that they knew this was a last minute plan B, um, I'm, a, I'm a little concerned that they didn't tell us how it worked because I ended up in a marsh. Um, yeah, if you go directly to Round Valley, the pinpoint Round Valley campground, it takes you through a meadow that has become a marsh. So as I like to say, that's fun. Um, but right now I'm just, I'm waiting for Jenny. Um, I did meet a group um, that are at R8, which is a fucking fantastic campsite. I'm super, super jealous. Um, but they are at R8 and they offered to let me come hang out with them um, because you can see the trail really, really well from there. Um, so if Jenny walks by, we'll be able to see her. Um, and they also offered me bourbon. So um, in all of the times that I've been backpacking, I have never experienced trail magic. Um, my Sawyer Squeeze um, didn't have the little white thing that, I don't know, goes on the bottom. Um, it fell off or it didn't come with it. I'm not really sure. Um, and they had an extra one. They gave me one of those and then they offered to have me come by for some bourbon. Um, so first trail magic is a success. Uh, and hopefully uh, we'll find Jenny soon. Cause if not, I'm gonna be camping by myself and be really, really, really fucking scared the whole time. Not cause I'm scared to camp by myself, but because I don't know where Jenny is. And that really, really, really worries me. Although she does have a Garmin inReach. Um, she's very, very experienced and I'm not, not, I mean, she's very capable. So I'm not worried about her. Um, just more so that, you know, I, I don't like um, starting a trip with somebody and losing them so <laughs> it's happened once before and it's not fun um so yeah that's it so i'm making my dinner which is this vegan arose arozo yeah i think that's what it's called um and look there's like a perfect little chair just for me Oh, oh, okay, maybe not for me. My ass is too big for this little chair. So Jenny and I are exhausted. It is like six o'clock and we're already in our tents and like ready for bed. Uh, it's been a long day. I'm tired. Tomorrow, we go back down the way we came. And then we get food. All right, so we're up. It's a little after 6 a.m. And we're backing up. And I'm kinda at the trail. The wind was relentless last night, so we're both pretty tired.